Hey everyone, this is Kyle Michael Coin 101. I'm going to show you today how you can turn a coin like this into this. This is a what you would call a rainbow tuned Morgan silver dollar, brilliant uncirculated. And how one achieves a look like this is through a process called uh, called oxidation, or also known as toning or tarnish. And unlike most metals, such as ferrous metals, such as iron, which produce uh, rust when exposed to oxygen, silver actually produces an oxidative, an oxidative layer, which is known as tarnish. And tarnish is, of course, comes in many different ways, many different ways tarnish can look. Um, you can get tarnish that's very dark, you can get tarnish that's very light, you can get tarnish that really doesn't have a rainbow effect at all. But uh, the rainbow effect is what can bring value to your Morgan dollar, how you can actually increase the value by the eye appeal. An eye appeal is the overall beauty of the coin, how it affects the viewer's eye. Does it look more attractive or less attractive? Does something like this catch your eye or does something a bit more on the white side catch your eye. This is what, of course, a white Morgan dollar would be. And this is how you create that look. All it requires is, of course, is a coin that you're going to select. It could be any silver coin. I would recommend using silver. And also, the more brilliant uncirculated you have your silver, the better the look is going to look. The more luster you have, the better the outcome. And it's as simple as grabbing a uh, manila envelope such as this. Make sure it is not Make sure it does not have bubble wrap in it. Make sure it's your regular office style envelope. And what you will do with that is you can cut off a portion to the size that you need and you take your coin, handle it as carefully as you possibly can, and you slip it inside of the envelope. You take it out of your coin holder or whatnot if it's in something like this. Stick it inside and try to get it down to a nice corner of your packaging here, down around the corner. And you can tape it close with some duct tape. Duct, duct tape actually works really well for this. And then you sit it someplace nice and quiet, something undisturbed. But you can create many different types of rainbow toning. You can create several different types. This is an example here that we have. This is an 1886. This is from my collection. And it, of course, once upon a time was like you see here. Um, as you can see here, this one does have some luster, which is really nice. Um, this one I would rate... Um, just from the, the front appearance, it looks to be an MS-60, maybe MS-61, MS-62. Um, it has great luster. It has pretty decent strike. has a lot of marring on the face. But if you look at the back, this is where the rainbow toning happened. And this can be, uh, of course, dictated upon which way your coin is facing. Uh, the coin that's exposed to the oxygen more will get this toning more than the side that is in contact with a surface that doesn't get as much oxygen. Now, why does paper do this? Why does the whole rainbow toning even exist? This is why, this is why paper such as this, if you find manila envelopes like this that are not white paper, but they're the yellow paper, what that means is the acid in the paper reacts with the silver, reacts with the oxygen, creating the tarnish effect, which is deemed toning when it becomes a beautiful creation. Now, here's an example of a coin that was overdone. I guess you could say it was overdone. This is how this is what a coin looks like when when toning becomes tarnish. As you can see, a lot of the original luster is not really visible. It does have a lot of different colors, but they don't nearly as pop. They don't pop nearly as much as something like this. And a lot of that is down to the key point of luster. The more brilliant something reflects light, the more brilliant the colors are going to be. Something like this is uh, one of the outcomes you could possibly get if you don't keep an eye on your toning. So every Every few months, I would recommend every, um, every every five to six months, check your coins to see how they're coming along. So that way you can control the amount of toning that you're going to get. Because toning coins, uh, toned coins can actually market value um, sometimes twice as much or even three times the regular value of an untoned coin depending on the eye appeal. And I want to go ahead and show you a few more of the coins that I have for my collection that were naturally toned like this, but not by me. These are coins that I got from a coin set that I've purchased from coin shows and just in general have been found in collections that have this type of toning. Here's a great example. It's a 1954 Philadelphia Strike Roosevelt Dime and I grade this one, um, Ms. T63. This is your typical um, caressant type toning. You call this caressant toning because it only goes around one side. When you have toning that goes all the way around the coin, 
like this one here. That is known as uh, bullseye, bullseye toning. At least that's what I used to hear it called. Um, some people call it target toning, but this is the, uh, the bullseye or target styled toning where it goes evenly around the edge and you get multiple colors that go towards the center. And of course you get this one here is the caressing toning. And this is based upon how the coin was stored. Like if you had like, um, if this was in a coin album, the acid from the paper started working on the edge and reacting with the oxygen, uh, forming that toning on this very edge. Let's get a nice little close up there. It's really a pretty coin. I do like that. I'll go over a few more for you here. Uh, this one here is uh, 1953 proof. This came from a proof set. Uh, the proof set was not original. It was not an issued original proof set, but this coin is absolutely stunning. And I will show you why. As you can see here, right there, I'll go ahead and point out those lines that you see are not scratches. I absolutely can guarantee 110% these are not scratches. These are actually dye polish marks. Um, that comes from, the, the, of course, the polishing process of preparing the dye for striking the coins. And this stuff gets translated to the final product. Because if you look under a uh, strong magnification, you actually see that the coin has no scratching in the metal at all. This is, I would, I definitely believe this coin could be Cameo. It's not professionally graded, but if I did get this professionally graded, this could come back as a Cameo. And this would mean huge, huge dollar, a huge, huge value for this coin. But as you can see here, this coin here has toning as well. As you can see there. Very very nice toning on the edges there uh, it's got some of that uh, bullseye toning going on and then here's another coin from that same set this is one of my most this is one of my nicest toned proof coins i have and this one right here is your 1953 1953 proof beautifully rainbow toned roosevelt diamond i call this one my blueberry because it reminds me so much of a blueberry um let's see if i can get the uh toning just right so you can actually see a bit better really gorgeous gorgeous toning i'll um, bring up the brightness just a little more for you here's the reverse um reverse has really nice toning as well i just really love that beautiful um, that bullseye blueberry toning just lots and lots of blues and violets it really makes the coin stand out quite a lot in the collection here is the thing i wanted to let you all know and uh it's, it's quite vital, it's quite vital to this video, and that is this. See that box right there? That box right there. Inside that box, there is, there are several coins in there that were placed in envelopes just like this. And I'll tell you what, if you go ahead and subscribe to the channel today, this will appear in the next video. I will go ahead and show you what happened to those coins that were put in vanilla envelopes like this and forgotten about for years. So I would say, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like the video, click on this video next, and I will show you what happens next in that box to show what happened to the coins that were inside. My name's Kyle, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.